kinds of, uh, of hoop houses. Uh, we bend uh, with three quarter inch pipe a 14 foot wide and uh, with one inch pipe, one inch galvanized, we're just bending this up as a sample, but one inch galvanized pipe 24 footers, they come out 16 foot wide. So this machine is adjustable and we'll show you how it adjusts. Right now it's set for the one inch uh, to come out 16 foot wide. So you can turn that on. it level and not let it go down otherwise it'll be kind of cock out all right and then what you're going to do that's a beautiful hoop there and usually you put a roller on the ground and uh and make sure it's actually 16. if it's a little short show them what you do <laughs> you just kind of pull it out a little bit it's flexible enough and if it's a little wide, you just push it in a little bit. Now we're going to set up for three quarter. Then Greg's going to you show you. That's Actually, I want to show you how you set up the machine for oh. different sizes. Okay. So now what we have to do is we're using a different size pipe. That was one inch pipe. Now we're going to be bending three quarter pipes, so we have to make an adjustment. And so there are different adjustments here. There is a nut and um, okay. and holes. Right. So he's going to show you how to do this. Okay. Let me get out of the sunlight here. All right, so what does that say on it, Greg? Three quarter. It says quarter. three quarter, three quarter pipe. Uh -huh. And what does it say? Uh, 21 foot is 14 foot wide. Hole four. So what okay. that means is if you look over this, this is hole one, two, three, four. Okay. So we're gonna move this whole thing. And when, when we move this handle, what that does is make that, that wheel move in and out. Show, just go. Go in and out a little bit. See how that adjusts it? So it adjusts it for different size pipe and for different radius of bends. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this into hole four. Okay. All right. And then we have this little piece and it fits right in there like that. So when it's actually, hold on, let me show you exactly where it goes. So it touches here, here or here, right? Down the bottom. Down the bottom. So there's a bottom, there's two lips. It doesn't go up there. It goes down there. Okay. So we're going to open that up a little bit until this thing fits right in here. All right, and there, a little bit more maybe. All right, right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so that just fits right in there. And then we're going to save this. This is the one that we know. Okay. And now we should be able to just take a piece of three quarter inch, put it in, and we know that it will come out 14 foot wide. And we don't have to, you know, play around every time, you know, and bend a sample. So let's try that, see if that works. So here's the three quarters, galvanized. We'll bend up one of these. Remember, you want to keep it level. Don't let it go down or it'll be cockeyed. Well, that didn't work too well. Well, that may be. So, right, so that first one looks like it's more like 16 foot wide and it's not tall enough when you stand in it. So push it together. So what you would want to do is go back. Is that 21 footer we use? Yeah, it's a 21 footer. So, okay, good. So it's still, so what that means is we have to go back and we have to tighten it up a little bit so the hole gets a little smaller so for whatever reason um, to make it a little bit more of a radius of a, of a tighter radius of a bend this wheel needs to go in in a little bit it needs to go in so it's tighter okay. and the way you would do that is take this nut and adjust it adjust it this way half a turn to make it go that way and that that way it will you may have to play around with it once or twice but when you're bending a bunch of them that's what you get okay that's it that's all i really needed to do so the final part of uh, making a 30 foot